today we're going to react to Smokey Bear roars into death battle. Let's watch. In 1944, America's forests faced an ever increasing threat. With nearly 16 million men battling Nazis overseas, little manpower remained to combat the spread of forest fires. Every year, 30 million acres of trees would go up in smoke. Damn, that's even more trees than Snoop Dogg can burn! <laughs> America needed a new hero. Someone who could prevent these disastrous blazes from occurring in the first place. And then along came a lovable cartoon bear named Smokey. So remember, only you can prevent forest fires. As a mascot, Smokey Bear did what he could to inspire the American people. He even partnered with Bambi to teach the ways of fire safety. Mm. However, Smokey was still merely a dream, a figment of imagination, until one fateful day in the Capitan Mountains of New Mexico. What do you know? A forest fire broke out. The mountain trees were annihilated in a blaze so intense the 30 firefighters called to action were almost incinerated. Thousands of forest critters either fled or died. Mm. All but one. Atop a smoldering tree clung a lone survivor, a small black bear cub. His paws burnt, his family lost to the flames. So after firefighters rescued him, there was only one name that fit. Smokey! Well, first they named him Hotfoot Teddy, but they couldn't waste such a mm. great PR opportunity. Adopted into the National Zoo at Washington, D.C., young Smokey became the living symbol of fire prevention. They even made an animated short of his new official origin story, and it's... Pretty horrifying, actually. The public adored young Smokey. He received so much fan mail, he had to get his own zip code. Mm. And since then, Smokey has successfully helped prevent forest fires and promote fire safety for over 70 years. Mm. And boy, oh boy, has he done a good job. Drown your campfires with water. Make sure it's totally wet. Then stir and drown again. Indeed, in just the first 20 years, annual forest fire damage dropped over 80%. Wow. Yeah, thanks to Smokey's advice, I've never started a forest fire in my entire life. I don't believe that. To my knowledge, I mean, I've had plenty of opportunities. Well, I'm impressed. I didn't think you took anybody's advice so seriously. Mm. Why wouldn't I take Smokey's? This guy started a fire safety club, picked up ventriloquism, and even taught the Adams family to put out fires. You know, the people who love pain and things that are generally bad for you? He's befriended the creatures of the forest, much like a Disney princess, and even infiltrated Disney itself to teach their characters about fire safety. Also, unlike most mascots at the time, he successfully protected his dignity through the toughest social experience in recent history, the 90s. Respect the forest, protect our trees. No, what I do. Ah! This isn't me. Smoke, we agreed you'd talk to kids in their language. I know, but I'll just give it to them straight. Oh, and in case mm. you forgot, he's also a goddamn bear. An American black bear, to be precise. Mm -hmm. The largest black bears are over 7 feet tall and exceed 800 pounds, which seems to match Smokey's own size. Smokey's got plenty to fight with, like his razor-sharp claws, his trusty shovel, and enough muscle to rip your arm off Chewbacca style. Mm. And then you have to worry about fighting a bear that's armed. Very punny, Boomstick. What's next, a right to bear arms joke? Hey, stop stealing my material. Mm. Well, we'll be back next week, hopefully with some better jokes, for the rundown of Smokey's wily opponent, McGruff the Crime Dog. And that's the video of it. If you like it, give it thumbs up. And I'm going to see you on my next reaction. This has been the Montre Black. Peace.